And it was just, it was just a little, little bit. It was just a little bit of powder just puffed up in the air. Two drug agents are almost killed after accidentally inhaling a drug that's so deadly you cannot even touch it. Using lasers in the fight against fentanyl may sound a little futuristic, but for an innovative Bay Area company, the future, no doubt, is now. And they plan on saving as many lives as possible. Fentanyl is a powerful synthetic opioid, 50 times more potent than heroin. Once used to treat terminally ill cancer patients, drug dealers have found now a more sinister use. They're putting out a product that is is so powerful that it can kill you. Back in July, a 10-year-old boy in Miami died just by touching it. It could have been a towel, perhaps, at the pool, somebody else's towel. I, we just don't know. Even drug enforcement agents are instructed to steer clear. I urge you, if you encounter this during your daily duties, please don't field test in your car or on the street. Let's take a look back at the lab where the, uh, where the business ended. Ed Dottery is the CEO of Alakai Defense Systems in Largo. And their motto is, we were soldiers. The company was originally founded to help soldiers in the field detect chemical explosives using lasers from a distance. Now they've been enlisted by law enforcement to fight a dangerous new war here in the Bay Area. They asked me, can you detect fentanyl? And this was quite a while back, and I said, what's a fentanyl? And it didn't take them long to get up to speed. They literally put on gas masks so they'd be, uh, be, be safe from accidental inhalation, exposed a little bit of fentanyl powder and a, a bottle cap, I believe. We, uh, we shined our detection laser sensor on it until the guys got uh, what looked like some pretty good spectra. Their continuing mission is to detect the drug from as far away as possible. Take an innocent 10-year-old boy who wipes himself on a, with, uh, dries himself off with a towel towel laced with fentanyl and it kills him. So if touching that towel killed him, uh, an inch wouldn't have killed him, I, I believe. A deadly game of inches that can mean the difference between life and death. Yeah, the fentanyl detection project started as a joint effort between St. Pete Police and the Sheriff's Office. Daughtery tells us in the lab they have detected fentanyl from a yard away and hopefully that range will extend as they get some more formulations and they get some more data. But to think about using lasers to detect that, future's here. I, it really is. Yeah. And, they, and this is something they need to detect because it's just so lethal. It's so hard to explain yeah. how powerful this is. It's, it's unlike scary. anything we've ever seen. It's very scary.